What is this? No matter where you go in the waters in this game, there's always like ten slaughterfish. Where am I? I'm like just outside. Huh. Neat. Okay. I guess this was like an alternative way you could try to get in and just free the slaves without really having to deal with a lot of people. But maybe those people aren't supposed to like aggro on you because you're supposed to be sneaky about it. Well, I don't really regret killing them. And I don't I have a bounty. I have a reputation of nine and that doesn't really mean anything to me. My agility is high enough that I'm actually like able to scale some spots. Let's touch this pylon and see what happens. Well, first I want to collect the stuff that I left over here. Okay. Can I hold all of this? Let's see. Next thing is the orc hammer. Then take the book. I guess I don't really need the steel mace anymore. I found a dwarven mace. This is sick. Five to seventeen. Dwarven spear is just for money. Three hundred's quite a bit. I have 10 to work with. 17 for 98 is not really worth it. I'll like, put them over here. Okay, I'll put the boots back on. 17 for 98 is not worth it. 30 for 350 would be worth it. Is there a way I can make that, can make that happen? Uh, pots are generally like high value. I don't know, five for 10. Three for ten, that's it. Aren't I holding, like, a bunch of, uh, grief that I don't even like? Yeah. Wait, five. I'm, I'm not. Alright, sweet. I can grab the girls. Sweet. I have two... Weapon upgrades here. Alright, so I have... Doo -doo -doo -doo. And Dishrith. And Dishrith. Proplon Index. And is that where I am? No, I'm in... Lormarin. Huh. Oh, no, it's this. No, that, 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 that's... It's, it's this one specifically? Miranda's. Lord, Portland. Hey. Oh! Wait. Am I. I'm here! You're still aggroed! <laughs> Wait! I'm. I'm where the himbo was! I'm just north of Narmok! Huh. That's so neat! They're... they're like little teleporters. That's useless! <laughs> it's neat, it's neat, but I've got like better ways of traveling, um... Well shoot, uh, I need to like go put stuff away before I elude you, brother. I completely forgot about this. Why was I even doing this? To get to Narmok? Why was I going to Narmok? The entire reason I even did that jump in the first place was just to try to get to Narmok. But now I'm forgetting why I even was jumping to- Oh yeah, to talk to them about the debt. I was gonna try and see if I could somehow trigger the quest to work. Well, okay, I, I, I definitely want to come back here. I definitely want to come back here. world that should have yeah there we go. now you die uh let's just fly to narmok just do a uh, a little bit of flying 
equip the uh, Blade of Heaven and just have some fun with it. Awesome. Like, over here-ish? Is. Sweet. That was perfectly timed. <laughs> Did not slaughter that thing. Oh, there's another one. I wonder how the guards do against them. They do quite fine. Do I know you? Yeah, I just want to talk. Hurry this up, will you? Um, do you know anything about Malapi? Considering this, I can speak only to a friend. Okay. You my friend? A bit to the northeast of the town, actually. Nothing else? Ah, shoot. I might look this up too, because this, this... Um... No. No, his, his name like begins with an R or something, and it's not... It's not here. Maybe someone else knows? I'll throw a couple more hundred gold at this and then I'm just gonna look it up. Hello. I'm gonna... I'll go there again, but... I've already been there. Right there. that thing. So the stuff in here respond. There he is. And it doesn't update the journal entry at all to find him. Yes? How so? Talking to the Fighters Guild? No, I guess not. Ooh, hey, there's a Dramora in here. Okay, I can test how this works now. So, if I have a common, a grand, and greater soul gems, and I hit one of these guys with soul trap, traps the soul, it puts it in the common one. I wonder why it chose common. Smallest one it would fit in? Do you think that's better or worse? Put a soul into the smallest one that can fit in. Do you think it's better? Yeah. And I guess greater soul gems don't need to, like, Dremors don't have to go in greater soul gems. Do you think it's just as good, then, in this little one? Oh, this staff, yeah, actually. That is that that's that is some goaded sauce from this right there. Man, I love just having a place to kill some Dramora. 
Okay, this uh, this Kiros is not not really. Yeah, maybe I should. Darmok's not the easiest thing to get to though. There's easier, like the one just north of Saran, the one to Molag Ball. Hmm. Although this has only had like one thing in it. I guess I could try going back to the Fighter Guild and seeing what's up there. It's just weird for the journal to not update with this. Everything else has been consistently updating. I say consistently. Somewhat consistently. Like whenever something happens, my guy will be like, blah, 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 blah. Like when I did it, when I put it in there. succeeded in putting the poison in his cooking pot. Yeah. Most of the time it does, like, say something. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go back to the Fighters Guild in Vivek. Need to drop some stuff off anyway. I've got quite the, uh, quite the set of valuables. Alright, so, another weapon that's almost too valuable to actually sell. God, it looks tight, though. Weapon that is not too valuable to sell. This Dwarven Mace is sick. This Orc Warhammer is sick. Ooh, wish I could give them... Wish I could, like, hang them or something. Oh, I remember the Dwarven Warhammer, uh, the Dwarven Hammers looking like that in, in Skyrim, yeah. All of these are still beat out by this bell hammer. Actually, so much so that I should probably just go sell this Orc Warhammer, because if I can enchant that, I can enchant this bell hammer, <laughs> which is significantly better. Which I should be close to, like, I've got... There's no reason I can't. I should honestly do that. Um, but first, let's let's sell some stuff. Sell a lot of stuff. This Dwarven Mace gets to stick around because I want to enchant that with something. Honestly, I wish I could unenchant stuff as well. That would be pretty sick. Oh. I essentially am going to like also place stuff near the scamp that I want to sell to him in the future. Alright, did I grab any, um, any materials? I hope I've been better about, yeah, not picking up as much. Because it is fucking nonsense what I'm doing here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do, like, a couple of saves. Because this is, this is getting redonkadonk. <laughs> Someone in one of the earlier videos said I was I was decorating the place with the items instead of just storing them. That's how they knew I, I've been, I'm becoming a Morrowind player. The problem is that I am no longer decorating. It is now just piles. <laughs> just piles of stuff. Indeed, indeed. Ease. This Roplon index that I'm never really going to use. Meat basement? What are you talking about? The place in Alderun, the the one with <laughs> You're a fan of that one. I get it. I get it. Storage. <laughs> okay, I've got all these soul gems. I don't, I don't need all these soul gems. Especially the grand ones. You can stay here. I guess I'll keep a couple greater soul gems on me. 
be honest, I probably should have kept that, um, that steel mace. Apparently I should have commons on me, actually. I'll have two commons on me, in case I find more Dramoras. But, uh, I should have kept that steel mace for the opportunity to just, like, make a soul trap weapon. It was like 6k, while the, uh, the common one is only 4k. Oh, no, no, not at all. It made, um, it made the Frost Warhammer, didn't it? Or it also made, uh, I also used one for the Belt of anti unseenness Okay, well, this trip is just for selling. So, uh, let's head to the scamp. What did I do to deserve it? I don't Elder. know where to begin. It is such an honor. You're in good company. If there's anything I can do. Simps, a lot of them. Go ahead. <laughs> May I help? They want my ebony ass. Because it's it's covered in ebony now. There was a better way to say that. <laughs> they want my hot Nord body. It's not. Say your word. Cold, considering that he comes Speak from. Quickly. You, five thousand gold, eh? All right. Do I have some stuff for you? Take my warhammer, take my dwarven spear, and my longbow, and my steel arrows, and my flame arrows, and my cruel frost arrows, and my storm forge. Not the steel blade of the heavens. Probably my oh, eleven hundred. Silver longsword. Take my uh, glass jink blade. No, that's sixty five hundred. That that's when you like bring your stuff back around. I don't care about that. You care about that. Don't care about that. I'm not gonna summon an ancestral ghost. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, they were not. They weren't the greatest. Uh, sell that other light thing. Um, sell some bullshit. Sell all the flins. I just, I, I don't care. I can't be made to care. I'm not gonna fortify health or fatigue. I'll keep the fortify in. That's, that's gonna be useful. Not gonna fortify my magicka or my luck, restore my agility or restore my luck. Put it at seller max. Get five thousand from the fucker, and then I don't know how long it takes to uh, come back. But I'm gonna make a little save here, and I'm just gonna slap really expensive things down in front of him, like the glass jink blade or. The I'm still holding out hope that there's someone out there with more money than this guy who will give me more for the things that are worth far more than 5k. I'm still holding out hope. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. 35,000 for this cross. That's incredible. That is okay, anything else to sell him? Uh, those fatigues are mine. That... Restore strength. It's mine. The skumas. I, I can sell the skuma to him. That's fine. Whatever. Sell the skuma. Spoiled slow fall. Awful, awful slow fall potion. Endurance. Fatigue. Restore the agility. Okay, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to have these. Okay. You, you get money back. I 
I'll pay you. No, I'm, I, I'll pay you. I mean, I will sell these to you. Flap <laughs> every single scroll down that I'm going to sell to him. The Fortify Acrobatics one is very funny. Big O oh fuck heals. Don't care about fortifying strength by that amount on a scroll. I'm never going to remember to use that. Summoning the Golden Saints could still be good. I honestly don't care about that. Or fortifying my luck by 15. Actually, do that before I do some alchemy. Feather by 50 for 240 seconds. Again, not going to remember to use that. The role of the Windwalker is funny, not gonna use it. This is like fine. He doesn't buy books. He does buy. I think he buys these though? No, I found out he does not. He does not buy those. In which case, honestly, I, I'm just I'm just gonna leave them here then. Because th those are not worth like caring that much about. Hey, are you already... Nope. Okay. You know what? Holy shit, it's that easy. You wait 24 hours and he has his money back. Feels like cheating. They put it in the game. Not my fault. Does he have anything that I didn't sell him? That doesn't feel possible. And all of this is stuff I sold him. Huh. Shoot, I shouldn't have dropped all that stuff on the ground. <laughs> go back through this and now It's not worth, it's not worth the brain space. Hmm, wasting a bit of money here on this. Wow, that's really valuable. 426. This is how you get too much money. This is this is how it happens. You find this asshole, and you sell everything to him, and suddenly you have 43k. Oh boy. I have some enchanting to do. Okay. Okay, so first things first. I need new weapon weapons. I still need a one-hander, and I still need a two-hander. And I think that the Sixth House Bellhammer and the Dwarven Mace will be the perfect new weapons for me to use. Put the Warhammer of Wounds down on the ground. 
give them some respect. They're heroes. And the icebreaker as well. Uh, uh, don't stick in the air. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so those are my two new weapons. Those need to be... Yeah, those need to be Drumorad. Got a couple of Drumora gems here. To go with those, I am going to bring the Glass Helmet, the Glass Halberd, and the Daedric Staff, and even the uh, Boots of the Apostle, in an attempt. And I'll bring the Mentor's Ring and the Ring of Kashit, all to try and find some combination of items that'll help it so that I can break even on these exchanges. And you know what? Let's go find... Uh, I have one more gem with a Dremora in it. Let's go find... Honestly, what about this Winged Twilight? Why not just use it? Like, it can get another. I killed them before. I have more Grand Soul Gems. This is my main weapon. I should put as many charges into it as I can. Hmm. What do you think? Did I just use the Winged Twilight? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's put the, um, uh... Let's use the common Soul Dremora and keep one of the greater ones. And let's pick up the Winged Twilight. And let's go put that in the, uh, in this sick hammer. I'm gonna love making this absolute goaded hammer. Only for it to immediately become irrelevant like the other one did. <laughs> oh, man, that was very funny. Okay. Um, oh, and I also have Soul Drinker to sell for that. So I need to pick up... Okay, do we have a Divine Intervention sitting here? We do. We have one. We have two, actually. I should. But the other one... Where did it go? It should be magic. It is. Right here. Here. Uh, I want to go to Fort Moon Moth because they have... Scroll, scroll, uh, invention. They absolutely have a steel mace for sale. Yeah, it's just for the soul drinker. Just, um, just for soul trapping. Maybe this person doesn't sell it, but somebody does. Could make it a ring. What, to, like, cast it instead of having to hit it? I guess we'll see what's cheaper. I'll bring both and see what uh, what's up. Do you have a steel... I don't have a steel mace. I thought one of you had a steel mace. I thought I was uh, doing well by coming here to just try and get a, a higher value mace to hold the enchantment. I don't want to use a steel club. Or an iron mace. That doesn't feel appropriate. Oh, did I? Did I heck it? Did I heck up? I thought for sure one of these people sold a steel mace. I remembered it specifically, and that's why I came back here. I must have been mistaken. They have a steel warhammer, but I'm not bringing one of those around. Huh. Uh, I guess I should go back home and check the Fighters Guild. Wait, just check their shop. Also, I should repair my stuff. I wonder if stuff sells for more if it's repaired. I should really, like, check before I keep doing this. Imperial Boots 50. Nah, the same value. It's not exactly, like, a super interactive or engaging system to just have these hammers and to spam them <laughs> on my, uh, on my equipment. It's kind of funny, though. All the clangs and bangs and stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe this guy has a, uh, has one for sale. I no longer have the Warhammer of Wounds. This is true. Do you have a, uh, steel mace? 
We have chitin. Hmm. Maybe the guy in Vivek has one. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm going there anyway. Well met, friend. How does the day Actually, I think I like the Enchanter in Alderun more. Not for any particular reason, but I think I already made their... Welcome, I think I already made them like me. Not spells. My mistake. Vivek. Send me to Vivek. Greetings. Greetings. Go ahead. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. <laughs> kind of cute ring of jumping. Go. Fighter's Guild. Nice to see you, friend. Yes, yes, we're all friends. We're all very good friends. A sincere welcome to you. May you be forever. You have a steel mace? No. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Sweet. Only 48 gold, and you only charge me 43. Sweet. I should have sold this glass dagger to the scamp. Wait. You'll sell me the glass dagger for less than what I could. No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not about to open that can of worms. No, no, that is that is hell. That is hell. What I just discovered. I, I choose to close my mind to that. You cannot tempt me with that. Yes, stranger. No, it's not just that. It's every single weapon. If I can, if I can buy. Item, items that the scamp will buy at less than their value and then sell them to the scamp for literal profit, it will never end. I will never be free. I will be doing that at every single store in this game. I, 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 I cannot engage with that system. I will go insane. Okay, so first things first, I need a new fighting hammer. I'm going to use the grand soul gem of a winged twilight. This thing can hold 10 enchantment. Really? That's it? Dwarven Mace can only hold five. The Glass Halberd can only hold three. Huh. I wonder what the Steel Warhammer could hold. Maybe ten's actually quite a bit for a weapon. Fifteen for the Glass Helm. What can Paper hold? Paper can hold five. And that turns it into like a single-use scroll? Huh. Can do it. Okay. Sixth. House Bell Hammer. Um, honestly, I kind of just want to put Frost on it again. Just because the drain health wasn't really, like, I, I wasn't noticing it. It didn't feel good. And that, to me, means a lot. So I'm a Frost, that son of a bitch. And uh, I can afford a lot, so we're going to go with a lot. We're gonna make this, uh, yeah, we're gonna make this a 43 damage weapon. Although, something to be considered for the fact that then this weapon will, like, it's gonna eat through its charges, but it will only take, like, one hit to kill most things. 43 damage. Hmm. I wonder. Would it be about the same price to do, like, 10 damage of frost, 10 damage of fire, 10 damage of shock, do you think? Do you think I should do that? Do you think I should, like, spread out the effects so that I don't completely lose the, uh, the, like, extra damage against things that are immune to frost? That might be kind of cool, right? Having, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, and that said it would only cost like 10k. Let's let's find some more destruction spells. Do any of you? Oh man, I was so close to actually doing the thing, then I recognized a slightly better way. <laughs> Why do I do ah, this to myself? 
What may I do? Land me through. Land me through. Do you have spells? No. You are a fine alchemist, though. You have lots of stuff. You only have 400 gold, though. Hello, Outlander. I hope you won't take too much of my time. Hmm. Travel to Aldrin, maybe the people there have some destruction magic that they're willing to share. I want to do like frost, fire, shock. And I'll see if it all kind of comes out to the same in the end. Poison and damage. That's neato. But it says damage health for one second. Given my understanding of that, that would be awful. So maybe it doesn't come back. Just a ghost. The ghost fireball. There we go. So there's some fire damage. So we have fire and frost. There's shock. Hmm. A little disintegrate armor. That might be cool. Oh, maybe... What if it dispelled, too? Or what if I had a mace that dispelled? Like, what if my little mace... I could use a dispel to get rid of their, um... Like, whatever shields or something they had. They can just wait for it to go away. Yeah, but wouldn't it be sick to have a mace that dispelled it? Do I have dispel? I have spell absorption. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have Dispel already. Okay, so I found Fire, Frost, and Shock. Is there another, like, damage type? I don't think there is, right? Just Fire, Frost, and Shock? I don't think there's anything else. How wonderful. Okay. Welcome, Outlander. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to make the Giga Hammer. So, let's see how much this costs if I just make it all one thing. The Grand Soul Gem, like this, I put in frost damage of a magnitude of 43. It just barely is able to fit in the hammer and costs 10,000 with an 8 cast cost and 300 charge. If instead of that, I split this 43 and then uh, evenly into three parts, which can't exactly be done, but if I go uh, 14, 14, 15, that should add up to 43 unless I'm like awful at math. Yeah, no, 14, 14, 15 should be correct because it's 15, 15, 13, so you just, yeah. So let's do frost damage at 15. That can be the big one. And that takes three out of the ten enchantment. Say okay to that. Then we add fire damage. And then this one can be one of the fourteens. Well, it has to be. Already over. Okay. So splitting the damage might not up the price, but it takes more enchantment. So I lose out on a bunch of damage, but it means that some of the enchantment still hurts them if they're immune to frost. Did I do that? Hmm. What do you think? What's your opinion on it? Split the damage? Hmm. I think so, because it's my main whacking stick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, let's slot that out. Instead of 300 charge, it would only be 100 charge. Yeah, this is my, this is going to be my main whacking stick for as long as I can foreseeably see. What's that mean? 
I did not know that. I did not know if fire had, dark elves had fire resistance. But I mean, Nords are completely immune to frost. And I don't know what yeah, else is. So my thought was to um, split the damage up so that if anything's immune to one, I can still at least get some damage in. Yeah. What if I reduce these to 10? And I sneak in a third one? A little shock? So that was at 15 and 14 for, uh, yeah, a total of 29 damage. What if I now put in some shock damage? Oh no, it is. It, that, that completely fucks it. I, I cannot add another one and have it do any decent amount of damage. Okay, so this is what I can do. I can make a hammer with 15 points of frost and 15 points of fire. That's that's insane. Nobody hates that. I think that that is a fine amount. I think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap too, only 7k. So... And we'll rename this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't worry, I did. Name this... Hmm. <laughs> Just straight up icy hot. Is the is the hot capitalized in that in that brand TM name or <laughs> Icy Hot Touch. Okay. Cast when strikes, it's on touch. Um does it up the does it up the enchantment? Oh yeah, it fucking does. <laughs> that's that's too bad. So I was wondering if I could just Freezer burn, you're right. Freezer burn. Oh, that's so much better. Freezer burn. In which case, I shouldn't make it touch, I don't think. Just freezer burn. Alrighty. You seeing anything about this that needs to be different? Because I don't. I think this looks good, yeah. Boom. Okay, the next thing to do as I have the money to do it, so I might as well, is I want this Dwarven base to be my next whacking stick of some kind. Now, there's a couple of options that I can do with this. Yeah, it's not much, it's not much. It would um, it'd be a significantly smaller enchantment. So, I've got a main whacking stick. This one is for instances when I just like need to switch to the other one. Maybe I don't really want to use up the charges in my main thing. Uh, so I can just add, like, a small amount of frost to it, maybe. Hell, I can add, like, I can add 23 damage of frost to this bad boy. Like, that ain't too bad. Which would make this still, like, a very decent weapon. Uh... And then I can make the steel mace the uh, soul trap. Or I guess I... I really shouldn't. These maces, like, weigh so much. It shouldn't be soul trap. <laughs> I don't want to carry around, like, another 15 weight. But this is fine. I think this can just be done. I still like Icebreaker as a name. That one's pretty good. But maybe, um... Hmm... It's not even I can't even do cold steel because it's 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 dwarf. <laughs> How about dwarf on the rocks? Isn't the, aren't the dwemer dwarfs? Yeah. I'm calling it dwarf on the rocks cuz when something's on the rocks it's on ice and it does frost damage. So do you think that's that, that that's a, a fine thing to call this? Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. This is a good backup weapon. 
Okay, so now I need to go and... Yeah, I need to go back and, like, get a ring. <laughs> and put Soul Trap on it on a cast. That would probably be better than having a whack and stick for it. Uh, in which case, you have 1,300 gold. Um, do you take this glass halberd? Only 8,900? 1,600. Is there any way to, like, make this make sense a little bit better? Take Soul Drinker. Lose out on it about uh, 1,500. I'm probably going to be... That's probably the best I could possibly do. Have her take Soul Drinker and lose out on uh, a little over a 1,000. 11 and 16. Any better combination here? 11 and 16 gets me to 1,500. Got a 1,400 instead of the 16. Okay, that, that gets me a lot closer. Now I'm only missing out on about 500. Yeah, does she, like, have a cool scroll? You have any more unhinging? Yeah, she's got some more unhinging. All right, all right, all right. Do you have another one of those, like, big lock breaks? That was cool. Doesn't seem so. All right, I probably just uh, accept losing out on about, like, 300 gold. Yeah? Yeah. Boom. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go get a ring and do a, uh, a soul enchantment of some kind. Oh, yeah, and let's add these to the, uh, the menu. The... Hot tab. Freezer burn and dwarf on the rocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. Okay. And I that also means that I have enough money. I can probably do those absolute busto enchantments that I was trying to do. Let's uh, recall home real quick. Grab. Uh, Want to sell that? Want to sell that? I'll keep that, I guess. Okay, I have two exquisite amulets here and an exquisite ring. The ring weighs less. Grab the amulet. I'll grab both amulets just in case. And I'll grab another Dramora gem. Man, am I glad that I have taken the time to really learn how this enchanting stuff works. And it's possible that I'm still, like, despite what I've done, I'm still just in the baby leaks of it. Like, what if I could make that thousand agility fortification, but have it on an item instead of having a scroll? What if I could do that? I think that's where the, the bigness lies. <laughs> Okay. Welcome out. Do another save. Enchanting. So let's see. A steel mace has an enchantment slot of five versus an exquisite amulet of 120. <laughs> and the ring of also 120. Okay, so let's make a ring using a common soul gem, since this is just something that I'm going to want to do once in a while. And we're going to Soul Trap. Um, touch or target. I, like, don't particularly care. It can be touch, sure, fine. Uh, zero area. It doesn't need to be a huge area. Just, um, for, like... Wow, this is... This is fucking cheap. This is actually so cheap that I'm wondering if this is, like, a waste to put on a ring. Can make it like 30 seconds. And upping the area doesn't even like really up the cost all that much. This is a waste. This is an absolute waste of this ring's potential. I shouldn't put it on a I shouldn't put it on the 
Yeah, but not this exquisite ring. Um. Yeah, let's let's go find a less exquisite ring. Did I sell one to any of you? <laughs> Maybe there's one in her room. <laughs> no, she won't let me do that. Um, yeah, there are clothiers here in, in Aldern. Of course there are. I've sold, like, hundreds of rings to these people. Man, I have, I have really evolved from the... Like, just baboon Nord that I was. Just nothing but whack stuff. I am now just, like, true gigahead.